Well, hi there, everybody. Good Tuesday morning. Two meteorologist Travis Koneski here. Another cloudy start to our Tuesday morning. It just seems like we cannot get rid of these clouds, and many of us will be stuck under mostly cloudy skies today with very little sunshine out there. The big story of the day, though, is this warm front lifting in from the south. Now, initially this morning, a couple of isolated showers, not out of the question. I don't think we'll see a lot of precipitation, though it's a little foggy in spots as well. But again, just notice, we don't get a lot of breaks in those clouds today. It's going to be a mainly cloudy day again. That warm front, though, lifting close to I-80 later today. South of that front, we're talking about 70s, lower 80s, and west of it as well. And then north of that front, we're talking about eventually getting into the 60s, to maybe some lower 70s, but temperatures will be a little more, they'll struggle a little more north of that front. That said, still probably warmer than yesterday for most of us. And then tonight, look how that front surges northward. That's going to keep those temperatures very mild overnight. And in fact, by tomorrow morning, our temperatures tomorrow morning may be as warm as anything we've seen over the last three or four days for high temperatures. So it's going to be a mild start to our uh, Wednesday morning, almost a summer-like day on tap with mostly sunny skies, breezy southerly, southwesterly winds, which will change direction once a cold front comes through in the afternoon. Maybe a couple of clouds, but I don't expect precipitation until we get towards Wednesday evening. We could see some storms developing in the southeastern parts of the viewing area, Beatrice, Bellville, Kansas, Lincoln, those kind of places. Here in the Tri-Cities, we'll stay dry, but after a toasty day Wednesday, we're going to see temperatures plummet Wednesday night, uh, bringing a huge drop in temperatures, which I'm going to show you in just a bit here. But we'll start off with what we have out there in store for today. Up north, going with highs mid-60s, perhaps closer to 70 degrees there in Ainsworth, mainly cloudy skies, a little bit of a southerly breeze. Out west, maybe a few more in the way of 70s, low and mid-70s, upper 60s around Lexington, mostly cloudy skies. In the south, Upper 60s around the Tri-Cities, but that may not happen until later today. We may be spending most of the day in the 50s, and then sometime around 3, 4, 5 o'clock, break that 60-degree uh, threshold, and then warm up late in the day as that warm front starts to make its way in. Or we might not even see our high today until this evening. There's that chance as well. But look at northern Kansas, upper 70s and lower 80s on the other side of that frontal boundary. 83 in Belleville, Kansas. 70s and 60s other places. 65 in Columbus, 67 in York, around 70 in Lincoln. But let's look at the actual like future temperatures here from hour to hour. Look how temperatures struggle to warm most of the day and then eventually get into the 60s north of that boundary, but west of it, 70s, 80s, way out west, and then south of it again, 70s, lower 80s. And then that mild air sticking around overnight tonight. We might not drop initially, but then see temperatures by tomorrow morning, mid to upper 60s to lower 70s, maybe some 50s out west. So a very mild start to our Wednesday. And then here comes the heat. Mid to upper 80s, I think we'll see some lower 90s out there on your Wednesday afternoon. But there, you can see it to the northwest. There's that cooler air. Look how temperatures just dive for Wednesday night and a Thursday morning. So by the morning hours of Thursday, we may see most places in the 40s, maybe some 30s off to the northwest, so maybe still some 50s in the southeast. So a huge drop in temperatures coming by Thursday morning after a toasty Wednesday on the way. So if you need that air conditioner, you won't need it long just for the daytime hours of Wednesday only because we're right back down to a high of 50 on Thursday. A chance of showers, maybe an isolated rumble of thunder Thursday evening as we get into the end of the week. Now, Friday, most of the daytime hours dry. A high back to 70 degrees. Some models are keeping us in the 60s. Others are close to 80 degrees here, so I'm kind of splitting the difference. And it's <laughs> the temperature forecast, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, it's a lot of splitting the difference. Forecast models are all over the place with our temperatures through the weekend and especially early next week. The one consistent thing though is the chances of rain. Most of our Saturday looks dry, maybe some showers to the southeast, but really good chances of rain returning starting Saturday night, but really sticking around Sunday, Sunday night, Monday, and maybe even into Monday night. We have some wet weather on the way. And we're not just talking about drizzly conditions. We could see some actual good rain and maybe some thunder out there, depending on if we can warm things up and get some instability out there, especially by Monday. Uh, but like I said, right now, going with upper 50s Saturday and Sunday and lows in the 40s, but some forecast models are much warmer than that. Some are actually cooler than that, though, too. In fact, Monday, uh, I have the European forecast model putting out 40s for high temperatures. The American forecast model is going 80s. There is no confidence in the temperature part of this forecast for really that Saturday through Monday time frame. You're just going to kind of have to stay tuned to that forecast here in the coming days ahead as we get closer. Hopefully more confidence, but then again, you see a day like today, 
there's not a ton of confidence in today's forecast temperature wise because it's all going to depend on where that warm front is as to how warm we'll actually get later on today. So it's this is fall. This is fall for you. Big fluctuations in temperatures and again a lot of rain. We looks like as we get towards the second half of the month, and I know that's still a ways away yet, we may see a weather pattern swing, a change in our weather pattern. We'll wait and see on that one, though. That's still a long ways away yet. But because we have seen a lot of cool air with the occasional warm-up, such as what we're going to see tomorrow. So there you go. I've been droning on long enough. Like I said, kind of a very complicated forecast. The easiest part of the forecast is the precipitation. The tough part, that's the temperatures over the next several days. The most confidence I have in temperatures will be Wednesday. I think I know we'll be very toasty on Wednesday. But again, it does not last very long. So there you go. There is your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you all have a wonderful Tuesday and see you all again early on Wednesday morning. Take care. Bye.